What, what up, Betsy family? family? It's your girl, Alicia. And Tay. And, and welcome, baby, baby Kalia, because y'all yeah. haven't met baby Kalia. Right. Uh, she a little distracted. She is. This is baby This Kalia. is Kair's little sister. Kair's twin. So. This is Kair's twin, literally. Y'all, before we get into this video, y'all, don't forget to like our video, y'all. Comment. Subscribe to the family, y'all. If y'all new, subscribe. It's because we come in every week. Bangers and bangers. Whether it's a vlog or a prank, we're here for it. So our last video was in February 2022. It is now December 2023, y'all. So we have been gone for a while, y'all. We've been going through a lot. Yeah. Those who know us know what we've been going through, still going through. From the time we've been gone, you know, not yeah. not literally from the time of our last video, because our last video I was painting Tay Belly. This video is basically letting y'all know like where we've been, because we actually have yeah. a subscribers and fan base that really support us and, and they just want to know like why they disappeared and i appreciate the ones that has been supporting us we do appreciate that so i feel like we owe y'all that video to let y'all know like where we've been this is like gonna be a real deep video y'all we opening up like this is us being vulnerable and opening up to y'all we appreciate it you guys continue praying for us because this is just something that we have to live with for life so anybody that pray for us i appreciate y'all for real starting from the time that we dropped our last video when i was painting her belly which was february we had our son in march that was just like the best time of my life you know like we had our son in march and we're going to insert clips in the video of our son and um actually tay she I'm sorry, our daughter like kisses she <laughs> do <laughs> So y'all see me in her kisses because she keep giving me kisses. But yeah, y'all. So we had our son in March. And um, like I was saying, we're going to insert clips mm -hmm. of of everything. And, um, Tay yeah. actually, let me see her. Tay actually had to get a C-section with Kaya. Yeah, y'all. So let Quiet. me explain that, y'all. So I don't know if y'all want us to say it in this video. Or is that like a different video? Like well, I give like my C-section experience? Yeah, that's a different video, y'all. Just stay tuned. All you gotta do is like this video. Get this video to 100 likes, y'all. And our her next video gonna be the... I'm, I would give you... You guys can ask me anything. I will answer it. Anything about the birth, okay? Yep. Okay, y'all. So, yes. In March... <laughs> we March 28th, we had our son. Kair Rosell. That's a handsome boy. Handsome, so handsome, handsome y'all. And eight pounds, seven ounces. Let's just say he really gave us the best four months of our life. He really did. Y'all, so our time got cut short with our son. It did. Um, um so from March I'll say August. Yeah, from March to August. So we had Kair in March and People probably want to know, like, why y'all didn't vlog, like, why y'all didn't do that is because we was really just taking yeah. time and just, you know, you know enjoying, when you, our, baby, enjoying our baby, like, bonding. we really bonding, that's what it is, so I see why people, like, I always was that type too, like, why people just get pregnant, have a baby, and just stop posting is because when you have your first kid, uh, like, that bonding time is very important, sometimes mm -hmm. you just don't have time to post, and, like, and I was just in that time, I didn't have time to post, like, I was just focused on my family, um, working school because we always stayed in school you know so it was just a lot and that's why i also just wanted to insert clips and videos and stuff uh of kairos because it was great moments that i love to, to share that we wanted to and we wish we would have because we didn't know our time got cut short and, and that would have been nice to be able to go to back, go and, back and be like at yeah. the videos on youtube as well So our life was going great, y'all. We had our son the beginning of August. 
We got Alicia engaged. Yeah, I actually proposed. The restaurant we went to was so nice and just, I don't know, it was just everything because they even took some free photos for us. We didn't get to that. <laughs> we were too fucking faded. <laughs> I proposed and that was actually a good timing too. We actually uh and got it. might be like where her ring is in the shop. Yeah, it's in the shop, yeah. Um but of course we're gonna insert all them videos and stuff of her ring. Yeah. Like very nice ring too. Like, mm -hmm. like the times was great. Um and then literally days after that we lost our son so it was like we really didn't get to enjoy our engagement because we've been going through the loss of our son we're still healing from that that boy touches he's a special he has a special place in my heart so when i bring up my son it just it just like all these emotions and stuff so that's why that's going to be a separate video um when people probably do want to know like how y'all son passed away mm -hmm. that's not something that we're going to say right now is because yeah, so please don't be in the comments <clears throat> asking us how did he pass away don't do that that's rude that's very rude that is um, because like especially if you haven't lost a kid before that's something you just don't ask somebody exactly y'all don't know what what it may trigger that person be, exactly y'all don't know what y'all are triggering when y'all are asking that question so please don't answer that. Whenever we are ready to really open up and be really vulnerable, we will we make will. a video about it. To help those out there with children as well. And to cope with it, you know, it's because it's yeah. hard. And how to help cope with this and things like that. And We're still trying to figure out how to cope with this, y'all. You can't cope with nothing Honestly, like this. you can't. You really just got to take it day by day. You got to stay prayed up, you know, get a re close relationship to God. Because at that time, it's like when you lose a kid, you really just want to give up on life. And you just like, mm -hmm. dang. But it's like, but if you have that relationship with God, it's like you can't just take yourself out like that. So it's just, <clears throat> you, you, it's just things you have to do and i'm about to start tearing up so i'm about to just continue moving on yeah, to yeah. where we so, been. september came our birthdays our birthdays and stuff like that and another thing is you guys people may think like um because i get this question sorry our baby is tired and when it's, it's nap time, time it's nap time and we can't stop her we just wanted y'all to see her though but that's what, we get this question a lot too like um so did you guys because people like when we <clears throat> we didn't show Khalil off to social media for a while like they didn't know she was, Taylor was pregnant they didn't know that we had a baby until Khalil was like four or five months we get this question like so did y'all try to have a baby right after y'all lost Kair and if people are doing the math let's, uh, let's, let's listen to this before my fiance even could tell for you nosy people that's doing the math and y'all gotta ask that question like did y'all have a baby right after y'all son passed away like the way y'all say it like make it seem like we have a, we had another baby to replace our son that's what it be sound like when y'all ask that question so it's not even what y'all ask it's how y'all ask it and no we did not have another baby to replace our baby boy another baby we could have six kids and it baby. would never that replace would never it. replace kai here won't sell bets at all because it's like we always no matter how many kids we have it's just like we always missing our one kid and it's exactly. always going to be a piece missing to the table and we was actually blessed to have kalia you know that look and she looked like her brothers because it's like we could actually be like, man, you really have a twin. Like, your brother was your twin. So I can't wait till my daughter get older so I can tell her nothing but good things about her brother. And it's never to replace Kyrie. It's just the reason why we tried again is because we we enjoyed that. Like, we yeah, enjoyed yes. being parents. And it was just took suddenly. So we, yeah. like, we, felt like we, we just felt really empty. Like, we really literally felt empty, completely empty. So we just, like, dang, babe, like, if we... 
possibly try now. We don't even know if it's going to work the first time, but maybe we could try. And then it's like we have so many mixed emotions, but we like, but then we don't. But then it's just so much. But God I mean, gave us that strength. And if he didn't want it to happen, we would have never happened. Like we succeeded our second insemination on the first time. Like my son is my heart. And for people that really know me, they know like that boy is my everything. When we decided to have another baby, we were going through a lot of emotions. y'all. It was like we lost our son. Dang, we didn't get to really fully give him all the love that, you know, we had for him. We, we didn't really get to give him all of that because it was only the beginning, you know? He Literally. didn't really get to, we didn't get to do everything that we wanted to. Like, we didn't get to no holidays, y'all. We got to Easter. That was about it. We didn't get to no holidays. So that's why these holidays mean the most to us, y'all, because... Yeah, I'm trying not to get emotional. I know, that's why. But yeah, yeah that's what I'm so saying. So it's just like, yeah, it, it was just a lot of emotions, y'all. If you lost a child, then you understand, like, the emotions you go through. And it's like, yes, you get, like, mixed emotions. Like, dang, do I really want another kid? But it's like, dang, this experience got taken away from us. Like, I do want another one, but I don't want uh, Kair to feel like we're trying to replace him because that's not it. I don't, and then it's like, we get this gitchy feeling of like, dang, our son's not here, but our daughter is here. Like, dang, our son should be here too. Like, it's just a lot of emotions, y'all. So no, this is never to replace our son because we still think about him every, every single day. second. Every we day. still think about how life would be if he was here today. Every we day. still think about how the how good of a big brother he would have been to his little sister. And he still is. You still so, have that big brother. Y'all, it's never to replace him. Um, I just feel like if you never lost a child, you really would never really understand. You, really you could try to understand, but you would never really under fully understand. So we just gonna move to the next. And we're just this it, is an emotional it topic. Is. And so. we're just blessed to have our rainbow baby. So <laughs> that was just saying not to say that this is what happened in September. So September we decided to inseminate again, and mm -hmm. that was on my birthday. Um, and that would be another video where we inseminated. Yes, it was the same donor, of course. My babies yeah. do look alike. That will actually be our donor for all our kids. The day that he say he don't want us to. It's, it, the day he don't want to help us no more is the day we may just stop having kids and yeah so um september we inseminated moved in january as well y'all yeah so a two bedroom yeah you're right yep because and that's another thing y'all we just like dang this was supposed to be kaya's bedroom that boy is truly missed like it, the, for the ones that follow us on social media y'all know how happy and bubbly my son is like that boy is yeah. everything that's why i really just want to share it for my youtube fans too because i know it's people out here that support us so we're gonna um not even just all in this video we probably gonna have future videos because we have a lot of videos that we could create a a video and then y'all could just see kair as well because and then when you see kair and Khalid, it's gonna be like dang y'all really twins like yeah and, it, and i noticed that like we really had the same baby twice, just in a girl version. When um, people always say reincarnation is that real, is real I believed it when I had my daughter. Like, I'm like, whoa. It's in June. Nine months, June. Okay. Now she was born June 15th, y'all. June 15th. 2023. Correct. June 15th, 2023. And of course, yeah. Tay had to have another C section. Mm -hmm. So if y'all do want a video on that on two c-sections y'all back to back and that, Kalia was nine pounds y'all mm -hmm. she was nine pounds Kyrie and Kyrie was eight and Kalia right now she's to me she's way smaller than Kyrie Kyrie yeah. was more like buff of course that's how boys is because you're the boy but I'm just like how are you nine pounds and right now she's actually six months I mean, she just turned six months it's a good explanation like um why she was nine pounds y'all um I did have gestational diabetes oh yeah so I think that's part, that's part of the reason you do tend to have bigger babies when you have gestational diabetes. Y'all, so now we are in December. It's been like a roller coaster, y'all. And from June to December, it really has been a roller coaster. Cause honestly, when you lose a kid, and then this is my experience. I don't know about everybody else. Mm -hmm. When you lose a kid and have another kid, it's like the day she was born to four months was just like Trauma traumatizing, like days where you can't sleep. eat you can't sleep you just keep popping up it's just like you it's just a lot it's but as long as you, that, you it guys. is it really is because she is so little she's she's six months she looks like she's still three so little she girl. is though but she's just Compared so adorable Kyrie was big y'all we were like dang you big I'm like, standing bro up he was standing months. up at four we're months look at your nephew Bye. Look at, look at Kyrie. Oh, shit. He, he said nothing. He want to walk. No, this boy stands up. Went to 
so many because we have so many great memories of Kyrie, and that's kind of like all we have left. So we're going to post all that we have. He right. was standing, y'all, and I tell you, nobody was behind him. He looked like he was about to take his first step. Well, events, and I noticed that after I, we had Kalia. He was holding his bottle. He, he was doing it all. He was though. doing everything. Yeah, so the milestones that our daughter have right now, exactly. She She's sits learning up. to hold her bottle. She's kind of trying to learn to hold her bottle, y'all. She could hold her bottle. She could I hold the plastic is, bottles. The the glass bottles is a little too heavy for her, but she's she's yeah. working on it. And she drinks seven ounces, so it do be heavy, y'all. Yeah, so she she drinks seven ounces, y'all. So she sits up, y'all. She laughs. She's teething. She's learning to hold her bottle, y'all. She's attempting to crawl. She's grabbing. She's uh aggressive, like, and she give kisses. She yeah. sour her fast, y'all, cause like she lovely. She love you, and then she'll get aggressive. Like, yeah. she'll attack you. Like, really yeah, attack she, you. She, she, like, basically, she'll kiss So you, she'll but like, then she starts scratching Yeah, face. like, so she'll bring you in all sweet, and then she'll be like, like, <laughs> I just be like, Kalia. I just want to thank the man above for a while. I thank yeah. him for everything. I thank him for... In general, yeah. Letting us, I'm just thankful for, like I said, in general, for like, two girls trying to have a baby. Like, some people just can't do that. I'm blessed I was able to get Tay pregnant. Dr. Alicia, you feel me how to do it? Yeah, I have to feel me, but for I'm our blessed. Donor, y'all, like, and he's, I'm, he's I know a blessing. There's some people who come across donors that only donate that one time, and that's it, and they don't want to donate ever again, or they either lose contact, or I don't know whatever the case may be. But y'all, thankfully, that our donor was willing to donate again. Rewind back to June 15th when Kalia was born. Our baby was perfectly fine. She didn't have no birth defects. Everything was good. Very healthy, like we said. Eight pounds. Kalia oh, just so have, you guys know. We do family. have this Mongolian spot around her eyes. So you guys may have saw it in the beginning of the video. It's not a black eye. No, my baby didn't fall to bed. No, we didn't accidentally open no, her eyes. No, I didn't eye. sock her in her no. eye. Nothing fell on her. Nothing this and that. No. Like, she literally was born. No, we ain't squabble up with her bad attitude. <laughs> I know that part. It's no. literally on her eye. It's literally down her back and her yeah. little green booty cheeks. So Yeah, y'all know how babies usually get green spots on their booty and their back? It's so it's basically on her eye, just so happy on her, her eye, and she's beautiful and I love it. But yeah. what makes me mad is when people see my baby and be like, "Is that a bruise on her eye?" Or I have one person, one smart person said, "Oh, that Mongolian spot is dope." I said, "Yep, you smart." Remember now we're in December, y'all, and um, and our baby is six months. Our so. baby is six months. We're back. We're back. Just we're know that back. we're back, y'all. And I didn't even put the part where I locked my hair, y'all. Locked my hair April, y'all. Yes, y'all. So I'm about to be like a year locked in again in April, y'all. I'm loctician. And Latte is my loctician, y'all. Like I, I used to pay people. I'm gonna give people their credit where it's due. I didn't start it, but she keep I them can, touched though. up. She I keep can, them touched I keep up. Them touched she keep them touched up. She keep them touched up. She do what she do. She do what she do. And yeah, that's another thing, y'all. Go get y'all hair done by my fiance, cause yeah. what? Yeah, because I am a stay-at-home mom, y'all. So, if y'all are in, like, the IE area, I do hair. Yep. Hit me up. I do waxes. Yeah. yeah. Hair, waxes, whatever you need. So, after this video, y'all... Yeah, Kalia is asleep. After this video, y'all, we're literally planning to drop another video probably the next day or the day after. Like, we're really back. Yeah. We're back and we're better. We're and never going so nowhere we're anymore. We're not going nowhere. At we're going to be consistent. So Literally. please subscribe, y'all. Because I'm subscribe, coming subscribe. with a prank, y'all. Tell your mama to subscribe, the your daddy, your grandma, your grandpa, your great-grandma, everybody, your what? cousin, Tell everybody. your cousin-in-law. Like, tell them all to come to, to the, the channel. channel. We're doing it all. We're doing everything. prank challenges, vlogs, everything, reaction, whatever you want to see. We're here for it. Oh, our social media is right here at the bottom. DM in the description. In that y'all want to see us do. Because I know y'all miss me pranking Alicia. And you know yeah. I'm coming back harder. <laughs> team Alicia, never Team Tay. Spam the comments. Like this video, y'all. We truly love y'all. Our son do have an Instagram, but only we accept some people. Yeah, like... If I you're going to be a weirdo, we're not going to accept you. But if you guys want to look at his pictures and keep up with handsome Kair... We can accept you. We you gotta will. message us first and be like, we're from the Betsy family. Yes, and we really and will, accept will accept you guys. Because yes. people are weird, though. We made his page private because um, people are weird. And, uh, 
and we just don't so, trust everybody. Yeah. Like we really just keep our family mm-hmm. private, but and we, don't we open up to y'all because y'all are family. Our real supporters. So yeah, if y'all do want to follow Kyrie, his Instagram will be down there too, and in the description as well. Kalia don't have an Instagram. We don't know if we want to give him one yet. Y'all. Stay tuned for the next videos, y'all. That's all I have to say. Keep be- us in y'all prayers. Always and forever. Love y'all. We be back in the next video either tomorrow or the next day y'all we love y'all stay tuned don't forget to smash this like button really get this like really get this video at least to a hundred a hundred views stay tuned and we is out we love y'all though always